<clears throat> all right i just about made it in time um i couldn't get my other camera to show up at all so i've had to go through and redo the whole thing um but hopefully you can now see two screens so if it's working could you please tell me that you that, that you've uh, that you can see me that would be really helpful I thought I was going to have to pull the whole thing because I couldn't see the cape one at all. Um, so major panic stations, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we're all working. So, hello Sue, good morning, early morning, Linda, fantastic. So I've got some cool people. All right, so we're there. So, um, hello Julie. Just when um, I get used to doing one thing, I decide uh, to do something different which is silly, really, really silly, um, especially as Cocoa Butter Painting, uh, I'm all right at it, but there, there, are, there are absolute stellar super, superstars out there, so um, it's a bit of a silly game, this one, but it's just such a cool thing, and it's such a cool product, and it's such a cool um, way of doing stuff, I wanted to give you a little heads up and a little starter of how to get into Cocoa Butter Painting, because Cocoa Butter is so forgiving, um, that you don't have to be very good at painting to be really, really, really good with cocoa butter, which I really like. Anything that makes our life easier, I'm all up for. So um, I practiced this one and uh, back for about an hour earlier just to see if I could do it. So I shall show you what I managed. And then if it all goes to hell and it doesn't work at all and looks hideous, but at least you can see that technically I can do it. Um, so this is our, I mean, this is all the time. This is our, where's it gone? There. Yeah. That's our reference. Um, this is the guy I managed to quickly paint up earlier. So that's that's what I did earlier. Here's what I made earlier. In fact, can I just show you that and then like quit now whilst on the head? Really good, wouldn't it? All right, let's do this. Shall we do this? So cocoa butter. Um, where are you? Okay, I'm just gonna move this down because it seems to be really hard. Ah, there we go. Let's see. Okay, there. All right, this is cocoa butter. Comes in various different things. Um, you can um, buy it from cake decorating shops in like tiny little beads. And I used to do that. And then at some point, I think everyone got into cocoa butter painting and I couldn't buy it. So this is um, this is from a health food shop. And it says organic virgin cacao butter. Totally edible, it's an edible fat. But it's genius. It's, it's the most genius thing ever because in at room temperature, it's completely solid. There, see, but as soon as you put heat, heat under it, it melts. And because it melts, we can then use it in its melted state, like an oil. So um, all you need to do is add heat to it. So you can do that with a little tea light. So you get um, any kind of tea light holder. I've got armature wire because I'm silly, but that's just how I roll. Um, I've got a thingy a pile of armature wire there like that, and I just pop it over the top of my heat source. And then you need a little metal plate. You can get them anywhere. So inside that, I'm trying to show you without it all falling off. Um, inside that is all the scraping. So I just got a knife and I scraped off some cocoa butter. And then I'm using petal dust. So anything you eat petals with would be fine. Um, and then I'm going to pop the two together and it will instantly melt. Just, uh, i tell you what, I can probably show you. So if I put that there, See, so there's all the dust and there's all the wax and then by putting it on here for literally 10 seconds the whole lot melts together magic magical 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 so the thing about cocoa butter that I, depending on how much oil in terms of how much oil and how much color depends on what it looks like so if you use a whole load of oil so look that is now completely melted and that will run round so if you use a lot of oil and not much powder, you get like a watercolour. Whereas if you use a lot of powder and not much oil, it ends up like an oil paint. So if you want to do any kind of cool arty cakes that look like oil paintings, you can do that with cocoa butter. If you want to do any watercolours, you can do that with cocoa butter, just use more butter and less, less dust. So it's fabulously versatile. The other thing I love about it is that, again, because we know that its properties are that at room temperature it's solid, it sets. So whereas if you're painting something black and you're just using gel, you know and I know that that gel is going to stay like that. So when someone grabs a piece of cake, they're going to get black ink all over their hands, they're going to get over their mouths and all sorts of horrible things like that. 
If you use cocoa butter, as soon as it gets back to room temperature, it's going to set, which means it's not going to come off. The other advantage of that is you can layer it and layer it and layer it. So if you create something and then you want to try and go back and put highlights in, it's really hard with gel colour to put highlights back in because the white just blends into the colours underneath. So if you go and hit it with cocoa butter and white, you'll get a perfect pure white line because it's just in layers. So that's why it's so um, versatile because you can move it around like oil paint and then leave it for a couple of minutes, it sets up. And then if you're not happy with it, you can just paint straight over it with whatever you want to do and it won't blend through. It literally just sits on top in layers and layers. So it's really, really, really easy to use and really versatile. So it's well worth getting into. Um, it seems like a bit of a faff to start with, like, because you've got to melt it. But it's absolutely superb. And then I just leave the colours on here. So I don't clean this plate off. I leave them because they set up straight away. So you can put it over away somewhere. So if you've got all your base colours on there, you can put it away. I'll set up and then just whack it back on your um, tea light. And it come, comes back to life. If you don't use a tea light, you can use boiling water as well. So um, a jug of boiling water, a jug of boiling water, a bowl of jugging water no. a bowl of hot water and you whack your little metal plate on if you haven't got a metal plate um have a, a tin foil i've done it with tin foil i'm not very good at keeping stuff like i'm supposed to uh, and i can never find things when i want them and i'm too impatient to um go looking so i've i've created um cocoa butter palettes out of tin foil or if you've got any of those like tin like uh, disposable plates and things like that anything that anything that transfers heat is going to work for this um okay I don't really want to do this. This was a really silly idea. Um, but we'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? I'm always telling you lot to get on with it, aren't I? And like, what's the worst that can happen? And then I get I get trapped by my own demons. So it's ridiculous. Uh, okay, I've done it once. So I'll do it again. So moving across, got my palette. Oh, dust. Didn't talk about dust. Procrastination. I'm not procrastinating, honestly. Um, no, you can't see that. Can you? Da, da, da. Oh, speed. Petal dust. As many as you want. These are all rainbow dust. Everything I have is rainbow dust. I'll turn it around so you can see it. Rainbow dust. Um, loads of different ones. Each in the palettes. Um, cool. All right. Let's give it a go. I don't want. You think I won't be scared of it, but I am. Uh, meanwhile, you guys can talk amongst yourselves. Tell me how you're doing. What you've been up to. Jane is sober, which is good because last couple of nights ago, when we're, I'm, I'm running the bulldog class at the moment, so I'm doing all the lives in the bulldog group showing them how to um, sculpt up awesome dog cakes and uh, I did one really late at night because I wanted to see if people in different countries could say hello uh, and Jane who is not in a different country she's uh, just up the road from me but she tuned in but she tuned in drunk so I appreciate the soberness tonight Jane maybe I should do these drunk I don't drink I don't know, I'll find another thing to do All right. nobody's talking to me tonight Okay, I'll just get on with it, shall I? So I'm going to start with a, a light brown just because I'm scared. I'm going to go over here. I'll tell you what if I do that. Da, 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 da. You can see me. Hi, Lydia. How are you doing? Lydia's coming on. My classes have started back up. The village hall have said that I'm okay as long as I socially distance anybody. So I'll see Lydia and Jane in a couple of weeks um, when we do... Dragons and greyhounds. All right, let's go. Shut up, Hannah. I talk too much. Be noticed. So let's pop an eye in up here. First hit is the worst one. So I'm going to try and just block in. The basic shapes. I'm going to say what's really good about this is I leave it to set. I can paint white over that or anything else I want to do because we just paint up in layers. Another eye. And then back in. So I've got a mix here of gel. No, I've got a mix of dust and um, oil. And it's quite loose at the minute because I want to be able to fix it when I screw it up. So this is just sugar paste, straight up sugar paste. Obviously you could do this on the side of a cake, you could do it on the top of a cake. Okay. 
And then this bit here. So this is much slower today, just me going to be doing this, so you know, it's slightly less um, chaotic. Um, these metal plates get really hot, so be careful. Um, mind you, between that and isomol and all the rest of things, I think I think burns is just sort of part of being a cake decorator, right? If you're not damaging yourself, it's not your cake. All right, let's go down here. Da, 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 da. Somewhere. Cross here. Not quite in the middle of here. Here. So as I start working on this, you'll start seeing like all the cool effects you can do with cocoa butter. You bring his nose in. Lion nose has got that real sweetheart bow. Okay, so you can start working the shading in straight away. So it'd be really useful to have the um, have a third screen going so you can see the picture. Or actually, maybe it wouldn't be useful because if I make it look nothing like it, you will not know the difference. Balls to the wall, Sean. <laughs> Honestly, every bloody week. Just when I'm thinking, yeah, I've kind of got this sorted, I go, oh, I know. Let's try and paint something live when the last time you used cocoa butter was about two years ago. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. But you know what? Fortune favours the brave, doesn't it? I swear, this is how to live life. So, um, again, as anyone who watches enough of me will know that my aversion to black. So I'm pulling in brown and then I've got black here but I'll pull it through the brown first. Um, and with cocoa butter you can build up in layers again. So we can just start pulling the shading here. Build up the shape. Has anyone used cocoa butter? Anyone use cocoa butter? Uh, if you want to clean your brush, the only thing you can do, um, as I found out a long time ago, is dip it in. What's my sorry kitchen work? Um, in the middle of your pan, pan, I don't know, metal plate thing, is a big gap. Hang on, I'm going to hold it nice. It's blue and hot. Uh, in the middle there, that has got loose, can you see it? It's got loose cocoa butter in. So that, that, if you need to clean your brush, you need to clean it in cocoa butter and then all the colour comes off. If you try and put it in water or anything like that, um, it doesn't work. All sets and you, you kill your brush. So I think what I'm going to start doing, I've got some orange here. Start building up his shading. Just bear with me, I need to put some colours in. Yeah, I didn't use them for ages because it's really it feels really annoying. Like you can just grab your gels and get on with it. Um you can just grab your gels to get on with it. But gels are really annoying. They they blend, you can't layer them up, you can't move them around. Like watch this. Right? So look, if I put that orange through the brown they all start blending together the one i did earlier went through a great big like bin phase for like the first 80 percent and then suddenly it was like oh, that's not too bad so if this goes the same way i'll spend 90 percent of this time thinking oh crap i'm crap this is crap Everything's crap. And then the last five minutes I'll go, ooh, I got away with it. Let's see. What is it? Five stages of creativity. Let's go. 
So I'm just building up this side. So if you want to get darker, you have to do it in stages. See, so I've got the first one and now I can start blocking it. Come out like stick. But it's so forgiving, I love it. And look, this is thicker, okay? This is more more powder. See, look at that, it blends beautifully. So every layer you put on, you can blend it above it. But give it 10 minutes and it will set up completely. And then it doesn't rub off, it doesn't move off, it's just sat there and it just sits on there like a layer of um, wax, edible wax. So I can start deepening the colour down here. This is his shady side. And again, the more wax you use, the watery it's going to be, and the more powder you use, the thicker it's going to be. So if you want to do palette painting, palette knife painting, you can use cocoa butter and just, just use a little bit of the cocoa butter and a lot of uh, the dust and you'll get really, really cool like palette knife painting. So like, you know, like the buttercream palette knife guys, you can use this as well. And um, it dries up within seconds. So if I take this off the heat, you've got about a minute before it starts setting. So um, you'll know when it happens because you'll start trying to do something and, and there's no give in the color, there's no give at all. And you'll look underneath and your um, tea light will have died. So which is why I stopped using, because to start with when I did this, I was recommended that you put it on a bowl of water, bowl of boiled water. So to start with, that's what I was doing because I'm really tight and I don't like spending money on it. In fact, I'm still tight because I've used a, a roll of wire instead of buying a probably like a two pound um, thingamajiggy. Technical term, thingamajiggy. Um, but the, you find that with a bowl of water, it just as soon as it comes off that heat, it just starts setting and you every sort of 10 minutes you're up and down to the kettle rewarming things not only does your hubby then moan at you that you're, you're not abusing the kettle but it gets really annoying so that's why i swapped to a tea light now i'm just going to try and stop bringing some lighter colors because i did this before ah that's hot um i did this before and the colors have all got a bit muddy so i'm just trying to start fresh colors up Otherwise, it's getting too dark. So look here, you see, it lightens, it layers straight on the top. So I can change that. So if I think, oh, I've really screwed that up, and just come back on and paint over it, and it will layer up another layer, rather than it kind of blending in or disappearing or not doing anything. Great, it's absolutely blooming great. I love it. Anything that's forgiving with cake decorating, because you think this is edible, isn't it? So you can't just sort of, you know, get your, get your rubber and rub it out what goes on stays on doesn't it so anything that's got movement always forgiving is going to be really helpful come into the dark a bit so i can blend in these lines and then go over the top again it's got a light a bit there and then this side is really really shady Hello, Ria. Ria from South Africa. You've got lines down there, haven't you? We don't have any lines here. We're just pulling in orange here. Again, I can just blend it through and then layer back up. It's good, isn't it? It's really, really, really good. 
Um, another cool thing about it is that because it's oil based and not water based, is it's the perfect companion for uh, wafer paper. Now, wafer paper is something else you might not have got into yet, um, but when you do, adding it to cocoa butter is amazing because the thing about wafer paper is that it reacts to water. So, um, straight away, if you start trying to mess with any colours or like trying to deepen wafer paper and create darker colours on it, you're in trouble because um, it starts wilting and bending and mushing and all sorts of things. But Okay, that's, that's not good. Um, but if you play with wafer paper and you play with cocoa butter because it's oil, it doesn't affect the wafer paper. It's just bloody genius. So I've coloured wafer paper really, really dark, like woodland leaves and things like that. And I've done it by painting over the top of it with a layer of cocoa butter. And it didn't wilt or anything. Pretty great. So coming in there, I can see I can get rid of those brown lines all together and blend them in. Lovely. I mean, it's a painterly effect, but that's because our originals are painterly effects. Everything I do is painterly. So um, if ever I'm telling a client that I'm um, able to paint on their cake, I'm never telling them that I can do a, like a fabulous, perfectly realistic thing it's always impressionism or painterly or anything like that. Um, just, you know, not getting myself into a hole by telling anyone I can do a hyper-real painting. Whereas this style is a joy. Well, it would be if you lot weren't watching. Right, I'm going to start darkening in. Um, darkening, I will read those. Hang on. My, my brain can't read and do this at the same time. Nose. Get in his nostrils. Where's that nostril gone? Gonna be there for So again, you're working to darken down because it works in layers. So just bringing in his mouth now. Where have we got dark areas coming in here then? So let's just go in and darken in that area again. So a bit like my sculpture cakes, I'm not going straight to black. I'm, I'm grab, grabbing down to it. Just seeing that, how this looks from your side. Um, <laughs> yeah, which in the zoo has lions, that's true. We can go and see them now, can't we? That's exciting. Uh, yeah, so I agree. But then, um, so use cheap paintbrushes because, because cocoa butter batters them. This is true. However, I don't have any paint, any expensive paintbrushes. All of my paintbrushes are cheap. I haven't graduated yet to the, the, the class of artist who has posh paintbrushes. I have a very posh airbrush, but I do not have posh paintbrushes. All my paintbrushes come from the works. Um, and I batter them, and I don't feel bad about battering them. I think if I had posh paintbrushes, I'd feel really guilty about the fact that I mistreat them terribly. Um, if that's a confession that I shouldn't have made, then please um, just pretend I never said it. Okay. Uh, right, okay. Uh, Heidi can't hear me, but she has subtitles. Everyone else can hear me, can't they? Because I'm, you're responding to me. Heidi, turn your phone up. Put your headphones on, stand on your head. Um, if not, just read the subtitles, it's good for you. Uh, right. Sorry, Heidi, I don't know. Um, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm kind of new to this tech stuff. All right, let's just put this white in. Bosh. Now, tell me, there is absolutely no way that if you did that in water and super white, you'd be able to see it. Because I don't believe you, but look at that. That is the power 
of cocoa butter and super white. So even down to um, painting highlights on animals and stuff, I'm struggling to get the white to show through, which does happen quite a bit. Um, I'll literally, because I said I leave the cocoa butter on the plate. It's probably the stuff I should not be confessing. But I leave the cocoa butter on the plate, so I just grab it um, and then like hold a lighter underneath, something like that, just to melt it enough that I can get the white off and use it on where I need it. So it's really, really good. You will not get a stronger white in cake painting or cake decorating than cocoa butter. Right, what have we got going on then? Um, I just want to try it again. I'm going to try and brighten the colours on the side. So let's brighten the colours. I need to go back to the originals because what happens is they all start melding together and then you just end up with these kind of like muddier colours. I'm trying to bring a bit of this kind of bit more life back through. So let's come over here. So this side of his nose, let's do the end in here. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. I don't, I don't want to think that anyone's think I'm treading on anyone's toe by, toes by showing this. It's only a, a very basic, so there are people who spend their entire lives doing this, so it's their game, not mine. But um, it's such a nice medium to work with, and again, it's one of those I don't think many people do, so I just wanted to show you how easy it is and how blendable it is, and like all the fun stuff you can do with it. Oh, look at that. I was looking for my water. Ow, and now I've just got my finger. Oh, it's going well. All right, let's just try it. Let's use some of this in here. So I don't want to really move that black, so I'm going to just be a bit careful with it. Try and put some highlights in here. Give me some proper colour. It's all mushy. Stuff. There we go. There's some yellow. So that's it. New side in. Time's it. Uh, well, I'm sweating slightly less this week, so it's obviously slightly less stressful. Right, right. Yeah, run it through clean cocoa butter, exactly. No, no, I was looking for my water because, I, yeah, I shouldn't have been looking for my water, but, you know, habit, isn't it? It's like when you put your paintbrush in your cup of tea. Have you done that? Yeah, so the centre of my um, dish is where I've got my clean, I use the word clean loosely, my clean... Um, cocoa butter and that's how I can clean my brush so there can you see how thin that is that's because there's so much oil on it so if you want a watercolor effect not that I'm ruining my painting but look whereas if you want a stronger you just put more more dust with it so it's fantastic it's it's got such strength to in my little girl. Um, it's got such diversity of um, ability on it. I love it. I'm just going to put a bit more. Um, ah, I keep touching the blooming thing. So you don't get very long to move the stuff around because you see, as soon as I'm moving off the heat, it starts sucking. Just going to put a bit more butter in because obviously we're getting a bit stuck together. Okay, so this side of the line is much lighter. It's about building up in layers. That's all I'm starting to do now. Put it some sleep. Let's get in. So you've got whites under his eyes. 
So if you want to do watercolour effects, you just don't put very much powder in. If you want it stronger, see, put more powder in. You know, blended, you can have it painterly. The versatility and it's amazing. So I've come up over this side and I can now add in more over the top of what I put before. If I think it's too harsh, look, I can kind of re blend it back. Um, would it be better to practice on icing before cake? The only thing about practicing on icing is it's nice and flat. Whereas obviously your cake, you're either going to be on top of it or you're on the side of it. Uh, I've probably, I think when you first get it, just to start understanding how it works as a medium, just grab a bit of icing. Uh, definitely a piece of icing over, over paper because paper is going to do different things, isn't it? It's going to absorb it and stuff. So, um, But after that, I don't know, a little bit like Sean said, I'm a little bit of a balls to the wall kind of girl. I've never actually heard that phrase before, but I think it's epic. I'm adopting it, I'm stealing it. Um, I think people just spend far too much time being scared of everything and far too little time actually just doing it. And the one way to get rid of fear is to do it. The one way to keep fear is to constantly avoid it. So yeah, have a little play on icing, but don't spend your life stuck there. Get it on the cake. Like you see a lot of guys do flowers and stuff. This is a great way of doing doing flowers. It's so forgiving. It's all your kind of George O'Keefe style flowers or Monet style flowers, anything like that. Absolutely stunning with this. This is how I do them. Because you can just keep moving the paint around. It it's not stuck there. It just endlessly moves about. And then you can layer over. So if you get a petal that's running wonky or looks completely mad, you just leave it a few minutes to dry and then you can paint straight over it with something with a different one. It's amazing. So if I want to bring his nose back out now, I can just paint over it. Blend it in. Let's bring some of those oranges through again. And obviously, this is something you could spend hours doing, and probably should spend hours doing. Tammy needs some spare time to play. Don't we all? No, there's time. You just have to find it. It's, it. Time is generally hiding in weird places like under the carpet or behind the sofa. If you just go looking for it, you'll find it. It's a commitment, a commitment to your own practice. God, I really sound like a woman teacher there, don't I? Right, let's try it and see. It's nice though, isn't it? And it will just set up. But like, give it 10 minutes, that will be completely set. And what that's cool about that is that if you want to go back and put some highlights in, or you want to go back and change it tomorrow, or you want to finish it, whatever, you come back and it'll be completely set, and you could almost start again and layer up over the top again. Which is really nice, knowing that it was set. So like, if I want to add lighter pieces up here, I can just go in and put them in. Keep looking at my water, it's habit. 
I really have it. You, you don't use water, you use the oil that's in the middle of your palette. Okay, let me just put this one in. I'm still, even though it's painterly, I'm still trying to follow that kind of fur line. Don't have it to die hard. I still want that fur line in there. So bring up his nose. So we've got start of an ear coming in over here somewhere. If you want the dark, if you want the light bits to show, you have to put some shading in. As with everything. So in order for your brights to look brighter, you need some dark to them to pop against, otherwise they won't do it. Right, I'm gonna try and put in some of these. Start putting on some of these um, base bits so that I can do his fur. His fur all here disappears in darkness, so we can go back to the brown. A little bit too much there. Oops. Give off. Then come back in here, darken it down again. So every time it dries, you can add a layer darker. Right, let's just work in a bit more shading here. Actually, I want to do that in brown. I don't want to do it in black. I really not like it. Big fan of black. Some dark bits up here. What time is it? 20 minutes left. Mm. Again, when you're doing this, don't, don't beat yourself against the clock. Although it can be quite a good thing to do. They do it in art school, don't they? They just give students like 10 minutes to do it. It's supposed to loosen you up. Does everyone feel loose? Yeah, no, I've just got the same brush. Um, uh, I think ideally, if I was really doing it, I'd probably, I was finding earlier that I couldn't quite get the finesse that I wanted to on, on the hair. So, um, like, that's about as thin as I can get. Whereas if you look at his hair, on the picture, there's lots of, like, much thinner bits. But it's it's not a bad brush. I can get it quite fine. Where is it? There. So it's not a bad brush. I can kind of go from I can push it wider or I can go quite fine with it. So it's not too bad. Also getting another brush would involve me having to find one. And I say up until like one minute before, I didn't even have a second a second feed on this thing, so I'm quite pleased actually. I, had to, I terribly had to call hubby. Don't you hate that? At least I have to fix things. No. So I wouldn't. He wouldn't let me. He wouldn't let me um see the other camera. I have to be invite myself. Anyway, I'm rambling. Okay, refocus. What am I doing? All right, let's put some hair in here. Dark there. This was annoying me earlier as well. It's quite hard to paint in this big area of hair fast. What are we doing here? Let's do some here. So 
So I can just blend this through into the white. And then go back over. Even this darker bit. That's a bit stuck. It can come down. Okay, I'm nearly getting there. Too heavy. No. Let's back it up. So I can just blend it through like now. Aren't you? Okay, let's start on this one. The only thing I'll do is I can put the eyes in and then have a look at it properly. So let's go to brown and we'll bring in So as with everything else, the eyes are all about adding your highlights and lowlights and things, isn't it? I'm just going to boost the colours up again. They've all got a bit muddy. Ah, I just painted my laptop. Some brown in, darken down the Right, let's pop in. Let's make him a little bit dreamy, so we'll make these slightly bigger than I would want to make. Okay, and then you need your white. I'm just like burning myself.
Um, okay, a little bit of nose going on. Uh, what am I doing for the nose? I've got like an orange brown thing going on. That should do it. I don't know, orangey. Ooh, I think my candle's just extinguished itself now. Good, good, good. From here on out, it's literally going back over and layering up, adding all your extra details. Just give me a couple of minutes to nail this a bit more and then I'll come back and look at those questions. I can see them going. I just can't focus on them because um, I weren't good enough. So let me just get get a bit more of them finished and then I'll double back up. Um, something about airbrush. Could you paint the top of an airbrush? Yeah, exactly that. So if you're, um, whoa, look, you see, that's what happens if you don't focus. I've now got a big black spot there. Um, ah. So yeah, if I can't get a colour to come through, so say like I've done a black dog, and they're, they're just impossible to try and get any highlights to because the white just sinks straight in, so say just jump on your um, cocoa butter, and you'll find that it will sit on top of anything. So like if you're doing a, um, a chalkboard cake, have you ever tried to do a chalkboard cake and then paint white on it and you're there with your um super white just trying as hard as you can to get the chalkboard to actually like the color to actually come up you try it with cocoa butter honestly it's so vibrant and so strong it will just sit on top of anything it's, it's, there's no going back once you've got into cocoa butter white everything else will just drive you batty so anything where i'm struggling to get the white to show through My little girl's going to break through that door in a minute. Where's Harry when you need him? Um, then use your cocoa butter instead. Right, come on, let's get this done. Uh, ten minutes, ten minutes. Doo -doo -doo. Now, if this was me, I know it is me, I know that's a ridiculous thing to say, but if I was doing this for real, one, I wouldn't do it in an hour, and two, I would come back tomorrow when it's set and have a look at it again, and then I would get back on the cocoa butters with um, the whites and stuff, and I would pull in these whites again. Because it does take a while, a little, you know, 20 minutes or whatever to set up. So at the moment, I'm trying to layer it on when it's already, when it's still wet. So um, it's being a bit of a meanie beanie with me. My kids have started saying meanie beanie and I picked it up and I sound like a complete crap, but I can't help it. I think it's a Minecraft thing. Uh -huh. I'm just going to come in here. I'm trying to get rid of the white as fast as I can. Mm. My candle is smoking at me horribly, so I think it's on its on its way out. So, so you, as soon as your candle starts dying, your um, paints will start getting more and more solid, and you'll find them harder and harder to put on. So at that point, you have to change um, two lights. Obviously. Or just battle on like me and you know see how long it lasts. Right, let's try and get these blocks in and then you can go back over and start bringing out individual heads. 
scrubbing. That's not good for the paintbrush, is it? Let's bring a bit of shading in around there just so that we've got a edge to his face. Now, but I'll try and get some individual hairs going. So I've not got this brush yet. Let's forget. Let's try some more of that one. I don't think your airbrush would need to be completely dry um, to use. Mm, maybe. I've never waited for the airbrush to dry for using cocoa butter. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the best thing to do, though. Who's got time for that? You're only putting highlights on, aren't you? All right. So let's just put a bit of colour through here. Paint it in a bit. This side is supposed to be darker. That side is supposed to be lighter. As you can see, I've achieved. Oh, actually, from your side, it doesn't look too bad. From the from one I'm looking at here, they both look like they're the same. Like one side isn't darker, but actually, if I look on the camera over there, it's not looking too bad. Let's try and put some highlights to this side, so we can just lift it a little bit. Ow! Damn. This stuff's hot and burning, okay? This is this is extreme cake making. No, it's not. It's not extreme. It's it's something else. Uh, yeah. Yeah, watch it. It's, it is burning. Just trying to lighten this side up a bit. All right. What else needs doing? Anything else? Um, he's a bit a bit light around here. So should I just put in a little bit? Again, that's the amazing thing about this stuff though, you can just layer it back on, you're not stuck. It's not like it's such a movable medium that if you don't like it, you can just, like an old paint, come in and blend it through. But then within sort of 10, 15 minutes, it's set solid. It's wicked. And then you can eat it. I mean, come on. You can eat it. Um, a class of, a, something about courses there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I done? I'll be happy. Is it, is it looking all right? Otherwise I'll be here all night. When you do another course that we pay for, could we play by Visa card, please? Um, Teachables, the online cake school. I think the online cake school um, is all by credit, debit card, um, and those sort of things. If the online cake school is, is if it's a, a way that's not working, the online cake school just whack me a message. Um, I've had a few people who haven't who haven't got PayPal or because they're in different countries, it's not quite working. And we've always worked away. I've got bank transfer. I've got um, all sorts of different ways. I will help you um, any way that you like with that sort of thing. So um, the chimpanzee is the new one. I love it. It's 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 such a beautiful class um and the people who've gone on it so far are, are the feedback's amazing so the bulldog's running at the moment um and then as soon as that's finished the chimpanzee uh, group runs live but if you book onto the chimpanzee now you get all the course and all the video and all the templates and everything like that and then i'll do it i'll do a load of lives with it as well but stop on the 6th of july um but the chimpanzee is the next one and then i was thinking I, I don't know if I've quite, I quite. I'm either doing a Labrador puppy, um, or uh, the. I was looking through my stuff and I saw the hot dog again, which is dashing with the hot dog bun, and I thought that would be a really, really cool online class. So I might well. Um, I might do that one next. Um, but yeah, if you're stuck, if you're stuck for ways to pay, just email me. Um, I will always find a way. Even if I carry a pigeon, I will send carry a pigeon and um sort it out that way there's always so tracy you send me a little message and tell me what you want whether you're wanting the chimpanzee or whether you're wanting um sugar and crumbs we're doing epic sugar and crumbs now that'll be an eight hour live uh, that's going to be insane 
So that is awesome. That I tell you what, that's such a good deal. It's 60 quid to get in the group. Um, but I'm doing three full day live classes. So a full cat, a full dog, and then um, a full something else. Um, I don't know what else is. Uh, I, I'm going to let people in the group agree to that. They're going to decide what the third one is. So you get all three for your 60 quid. And then um, if we keep pulling people into the group, then and I do more classes, then if once you're in the group, you stay in the group. So any more classes I do are all included in that 60 quid. So Carol set that up, so that's epic. So that's through Sugar and Crumbs. If it's the chimpanzee you're after, that's uh, my online cake school. Um, but if you don't know what you want, just send me a message and we'll talk to you and I'll tell you where we are or where you are or where you're up to and where I think the next um, good place for you to go to is with it. But uh, yeah, I think the Labrador puppy, but I also think the hot dog will both be ace. Mm. Uh, but if, you, if you're struggling with paints, trust me, just send me a message and I will talk to you. So hopefully that looks cool. What do you think? This is that one and this that one. Getting both at the same time. Uh, well, the top one's a bit more soulful, isn't it? The bottom one's a bit more grumpy. <laughs> um, cool. Hopefully, you learned something cool there. I've just said cool at the same time in, in two, two, two seconds. Hopefully, you've learned something cool. Hopefully, that's the third time. Get some cocoa butter and have a play. It's really, really, really useful and really, really great tool and something else to have in your arsenal of really cool things to do. Um, yeah, I will have a look through. Christine, I just caught that at the top. Christine, Sugar and Crumbs Cat Course. Look at Sugar and Crumbs, their group. They've got a really cool cat course going, cat course going. And it's full eight hours live. Um, so that that be fun. Uh, we'll tangle, we'll tackle cats and then we'll tackle uh, dogs and then we'll say good morning, Carrie. I'm going to say good morning. I'm going to say goodbye because I'm rabbiting horribly, and I will see you all uh, next week. Oh, next week I'm down in Devon with my mum, with the worst Wi-Fi in the world. So I don't know. I will have a look when I get down there and see. But I need to give my mum a cuddle because I'm not feeling uh, cool. Alright, see you later. Take it easy.